What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to Eastside RC and TMR Performance. Today guys, I got a little tech tip for y'all on the gas tank uh, vent mod that I do. I notice on the Facebook groups, a few guys have been asking about it, how I did it, what materials I used and whatnot. So we're going to take a look at that. But first, we got a couple shout outs. First shout out is to my brother Adam uh, at Performance RC. He sent over a letter first. And he sent me some Performance RC stickers that my mom made him. And he also sent me a Detroit Performance sticker and some cool Melosi stickers. Yes, sir. Because Mr. Adam has got a ALX 40 and an ALX 71. And they're quite awesome. Now, Mr. Brother Allen from 316 RC sent over some stickers as well. Check these out, guys. Check out what they say. Y'all know what I'm about, huh? We love God. We love our neighbors and our seas, son. Yes, sir. Love that, Brother Allen. Thank you very much. I'll be sure to share some of these stickers with Brat Dad. And um, Brother Allen wrote us a note. He says, Brother Jeff, how are you? I'm fantastic, brother. Here are some 316s RC stickers. I, we traded some stickers out, and I told him I'd shout him out, and he's going to shout me out as well. Keep doing what you're doing, keeping Christ first and helping the BRAP community. God bless. Alan, 316RC. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that, man. God bless you, dude. So, guys, I'm going to redirect the camera here, and let's get at this tank mod, all right? The gas cap mod. All right, guys. You can use a billet gas cap. Or you can use a plastic gas cap for this tank mod. It's up to you. The first thing you want to do is clean this out with some rubbing alcohol or some brake cleaner or something that doesn't leave a residue. And you want to mix you up with some two-part epoxy JB Weld, the, the uh, metal kind. I don't have any because they leaked and I had to throw out the, uh, the tubes. But that's what you want to get. You want to get that stuff. It's the, the steel colored and the white colored epoxy and you mix them together and it makes a steel color i'll show you in a second and you can you just put a little dab on this vent hole here and a little dab on this vent hole here okay after you've cleaned these then you're gonna need to get a set of drill bits like this from harbor freight and you are going to use bit number 18 all right i've already figured this out for you guys and mic'd it with my micrometer so you're going to use this number 18 drill bit and you will use a uh five millimeter tap all so right the end result to that is this right here this is what you get now you can get two fittings like this here this one here I looked for and couldn't find. Well, Brother Adam from Performance RC, he gave me these right here. So, and yes, my hands need some lotion, but I don't like lotion. So, <laughs> it greased my hands all up. But check it out. This little nipple right here is good for a straight, uh, a straight gas tube where it's just sticking out like this, straight out like I have done on my other gas caps and then you have a 90 degree fitting these were both got uh had you, these both can be had from amazon all right both have five millimeter threads this one here has long enough threads you can use an o-ring and a lock nut to seal it off and it will not leak this is a nitrile a buna nitrile uh o-ring it's oil and gas resistant and then this here, what I like to do with this is I will drill and tap and I will put, um, what should I call it? Which you can also do with this one here too now. You can put JB Weld on the threads like pipe dope and thread it down into, into this right here and it won't move. But as you can see here, what we did, 
is JB Weld on the little hole. You see there, that's all you need. Just a dab will do you. And then you tighten the the lock, you tighten that little fitting down just until it gets into the, the plastic lock nut there and grabs and starts to squish the O-ring and you are done. Tighten right, sealed up, all right? This is a no leak design here. And always a nice free venting tank vent. This here is a Killer RC inline fuel clip. As you can see here, it just goes together real easy. That's it. Real nice. Don't pull apart. It's super, super nice. And that's a RC Max uh, vent breather given to me my, by Mr. Rob, fifth scale or bust RC. I got such good brat brothers, man. You know, shout out to you, brother Rob. So yeah, this, this is really nice, man. I love these. These are super, super nice. The wasp can flip over and no gas leaks out. So this is my, one of my favorite things to do uh, to my cars. All right. So, and then you just put this, you can put this piece back in here. You don't need the, uh, you don't need the little valve in there or whatever, but I leave everything in there. Just cut the little cut the little tit off that's sticking up in there and then just put this right on back in there all right and you're good to go okay just like that nice little vent mod all right i hope that helps you guys man so y'all have a blessed one i'll see you on the next one all right east side rc and tmr performance is out <laughs>